Okay, uh, hello everybody, good afternoon. My name is Martin Eriksson. Um, I, am the, I live in Sweden and I am the network manager for SDS in Northern Europe. And I'm here, oh, I need to forward the slides. Yeah, so uh, I'm here to present to you today um, a tool we've been working on called the STG Impact <laughs> Assessment Tool. Um, as you all know, the 17 SDGs are integrated and indivisible. Uh, still, uh, sorry, still a common strategy among many stakeholders is to cherry pick some of the SDGs, show their positive impacts on those, um, and I would say that is simply not good enough. We would need also to identify and address negative impacts and knowledge gaps. And furthermore, we need to stop playing whack-the-mole with the SDGs. We shouldn't solve one problem and at the same time create a new one. So, how can we evaluate if a solution can help to achieve the SDGs? Can we develop an approach to do this in a structural way? I think we can. Furthermore, we need broad participation in addition to governments and big companies, we also need small-scale companies, civil society, universities, to understand how they impact the SDGs. And we need to do this at the global scale. So uh, the tool here will help companies or other organizations to do self-assessments of the impacts they have on the SDGs. And the methodology we recommend contains five steps. Ideally, first you gather your forces, and perform an assessment in a workshop format. Then you define, refine, and frame the solution that you assess. You sort the SDGs just to get the discussion started in the group. Then you do the actual SDG impact assessment, which I will show you in a minute. And given the results of that, you formulate the strategy forward. So now I will try to switch to and show you the tool itself, if I can manage that. Okay, well, I'm, I'm here, no, here, sorry. Okay, let's see. Aha, uh -huh, I'm not supposed to show your film again. <laughs> so I guess I'm, yeah, here we are. Um, so this is how the website looks like. Um, at the top here, you see that there's an about and an instructions page, and they contain exactly what the name suggests. We don't have to go through that now. Um, so you simply sign up down here with an email address, and when you get an email popping up in your inbox, inbox, you click on that link, and then you're good to go. So there's no special membership. There's no fees coupled to this. This is a free resource for all people on the planet. So now while we log in, and I have made some example assessments uh, to illustrate the electrification of cars. I don't have so much time, so I will try to do this quickly. I will then, to make an assessment, just click on any of these SDGs that you see here. Let's do SDG 13. Um, so here you have a brief introduction, the official introduction to that SDG. You, of course, have a very useful link here to this SDG, and, and below that, you see that the targets are listed. Um, and further down comes the step where you do an assessment. So here, when we talk about electrification of cars, you have to determine then if there is a direct negative, an indirect negative. <coughs> Maybe there is actually no impact on this SDG. There can also be an indirect positive or direct positive impact. Or you actually don't know whether a solution has an impact on a specific STG. So for now, I will simply say that there is a direct positive impact on STG 13 for replacing combustion engines with batteries in cars. So this is an easy click exercise, as you can see. But the important part comes here. So now we need to motivate our categorization here. So here's where you provide your reasoning, qualitative, quantitative reasoning, you can put in data, models, whatever you want, to document how you reason about this, provide references and scientific support. Uh, so for now, I will write something here that is much less stringent than what I just said. Um, 
then I save this assessment. And uh, for, to be able to show you some results, I have sort of a ready-baked cake here. Uh, and here you can see that the 17 goals are already completed. And you can then look at the results. Before that, you can't. So you need to address all the SDGs. Um, so as you can see, this, the resulting figure here is almost like a map of impacts on the SDGs from this particular solutions. So at the top, can I use this? Maybe I can do it this way instead. At the top here, you have the positive impacts. In the middle row, you have the absence of impacts for the respective SDGs. At the bottom, you have the negative impacts. And then broken out at the, at the bottom here is, is the knowledge gaps that we need to address in some way. And given these results that we see here, we have to formulate the strategy forward. So this is the last step in the methodology. Which positive impacts can you strengthen? Can you mitigate or eliminate, minimize some of the negative impacts? And what do you need to do to fill the knowledge gaps? So this, we believe, uh, can be a starting point for a more comprehensive sustainability strategy for a small corporation or company or, or other organization, for that matters. In the end, you can print the total output from the tool, including the resulting figure, the description, the motivations, and, and also the strategy forward as a PDF. So let me get back to my presentation, if I can handle a Mac computer. Okay, good. So I want to talk a little bit how this tool has been applied. Um, in SDS in Northern Europe, we have something we call Solutions Initiative Forum. So this is an event, and we also write a report coupled to those. Um, we have uh, done three such events and reports. As you can see, you can download them from our website, um, SDS in Northern Europe website, not the tool. Um, we have done, so this essentially covers 60 solutions that we've done in these events. The tool has also been used in research projects, for example, on uh, net zero greenhouse, SDG impacts from net zero greenhouse gas emissions in Sweden. And another area which we think this tool is very useful for is in sustainability education. So students can learn about the SDGs while they evaluate a company or an organization or some initiative of some sort. Perhaps a company that they are working on anyway in the course. You just plug in this tool in the curricula and they get sustainability also, so to speak. So we are doing precisely this at Chalmers University of Technology and Gothenburg University uh, in Sweden. So my simple call to action is use the tool. Try it out, use it, and of course spread the word about it. We are actually already planning for the next version where we would like to include more flexibility and more functions. It would, for example, be very nice if you can share assessments with one another, with your colleague, and work independently on them. It would also be fantastic if you could choose to make your assessment searchable, public and searchable, and also include, oh, I had to wrap up, also include a reviewing system would be great, right? So we can create a community where we do SDG impact assessments of all kinds of activities and then share and learn it learn from that so we're looking for some funding for that please talk to me afterwards if you have any thoughts on that and with that i thank you for your attention